EcoBuck is installed as the wall is built. Before setting the sill, make sure that the supporting blocks are cut to the proper height, allowing for the overall width of the buck. Webs from scrap panels slid into the notch on the filler piece are ideal for securing eco buck to the form. Using webs ensures that the buck will be fixed solidly onto the concrete core. When there is insufficient clearance or depth for webs, Texas tees may be used. Make sure to pull the zip ties snug and trim off the excess. Tie the sill to additional connectors installed upside down, six inches or more down the webs. The connectors are installed upside down so the pressure of the zip ties pulls them onto the web's lug, not against the locking tab. When the next course is set up, set the jams. Here a Texas T is being used to hold the jam in place against the block as the wall is built up. Tying off two connectors back from the opening helps distribute the pressure. As additional courses are set, webs are slit into the eco buck to secure it into the form again tying to the second connector back. The dimensions of this particular buck are such that the block fitting over the lentil must be cut too close to the connectors for the buck's flange to seat properly. When this is the case, mark the flange and cut it to fit around the connectors. The lentil piece of the eco buck is tied to the steel reinforcement installed above the opening. The reusable galvanized steel corner buck braces are installed last to hold the eco buck square until the concrete is placed and set. If the end cuts on the jams are perfectly square and the buck is secure in the form, as few as four corner buck braces can be used, two on opposite inside corners and two on opposite outside corners. To be safe, some builders use two additional corner buck braces to secure the inside and outside of window bucks at the top corners. Door openings require corner buck braces only between the jams and the lentil. Before completing the courses directly below and above bucks, go back and fix rebar dowels at 45 degree angles to each corner. The dowels should be 36 inches to 48 inches long and positioned so they extend an equal amount above and below the corner. You can tie them in place to either the horizontal rebar or a connector. 